So shooting a medieval bow safely. Obviously good range practice. Uh, but then the most important thing is keep your fingers below the level of the top deck here. So you keep them here. If your fingers are up there where the string is, you will know about it. So then you put your lever on, it's a goat's foot lever in this case, uh, you put your lever on, you do not let go of your lever at any point during the stroke until the trigger is fully engaged and you are sure of it. Because if you let go of that lever, it will become the projectile. This is a goat's foot bow. So in this instance, you leave the nut in the open position and the string actually closes the trigger system. When it does that, you will hear the trigger engage. Very solid engagement. So now you know that the string is fully locked into position and you can let go of the lever and remove it. So, what you do, set the nut, you put your lever on, making sure that it is central to the stock. If it is not, the string will be engaged on the nut off centre and the bow will not shoot straight. So, place it into your leg there and draw back. Now engage, you can hear that quite clearly. So, you put your bolt onto the nut, uh, onto the string. You make sure the butt of the bolt is engaged against the string. If it is not, then if the bolt is here, for instance, you haven't fully pushed it down, then what will happen is that the, the bolt is not struck cleanly and it often corkscrews as it leaves the bow. Now, obviously, the bow, at this point, is live, it's loaded, no safety. So I use my hand as a safety by putting it under the trigger bar here and it now cannot discharge. So now you just take it, you aim it. Now what you'll also notice is the nut spins when you let go of the trigger. It, it obviously it's driven around by the string. Now if you let go of the trigger bar while the nut is spinning, the sear plate on the trigger, uh, the sear on the trigger bar and the sear plate on the nut will strike each other as it's spinning around, wearing them very rapidly. Uh, so you have to keep the trigger depressed until the nut is stopped moving. Um, and that's it, as simple as that. Uh, occasionally you may want to check the string, just make sure none of the, the servings are wearing, replace them if you need to. Every 50, 100 shots, just make sure the wedges are tight, that everything's fully uptight. And that's it. <laughs>